Buffalo's oldest landmarks is beaming a little brighter tonight. A restoration project along the waterfront is finally complete. Here's News 4's Brian Shaw. Uh, it's an icon. It's, it's on the city symbol. If you look at the seal of the city of Buffalo, the lighthouse is prominently featured on it. And the uh, Lighthouse Preservation nationally is, is a movement that is, uh, has had, gained a lot of steam in recent years. Another project in the restoration of the Buffalo waterfront is completed in advance of the National Preservation Conference, which will be held on October 19th through the 22nd. The public will now have access to the waterfront near the property of the U.S. Coast Guard and the historic lighthouse, which has been closed since 9-11. The lighthouse is the oldest standing structure in Buffalo that is in its original location. The public is responding to the changes with increased attendance to the harbors. Uh, 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 a breakout summer. Uh, last year, about 125,000 people uh, visited Canal Side. Uh, this year was about 760,000. And we expect an even more exciting and event uh, filled uh, calendar uh, next year in making the waterfront, both the inner and the outer harbor, um, a 12 month destination. The Erie County Parks Department will maintain the grounds and will look to add fencing, benches, picnic tables, and swings. It may be the most prominent, but the lighthouse is only one of the many projects going on along the Outer Harbor. If you take a ride along the recently completed parkway, you can see work at Times Beach, a pavilion uh, going in the area at Gallagher Beach, and uh, fishing and park space at the Union Ship Canal uh, scheduled for completion uh, this month. Now, the station will still be used by the Coast Guard, but they did not require the entire 30 acres of land. So seven acres of it will now be open to the public and made into a park. Reporting live, Brian Shaw, News 4.